Hey guys, so today is going to be a uh, not so educational video. I mean, I guess it's educational into my own brain or something. It is the bookshelf tour. Someone suggested this on Tumblr and I thought it sounded pretty fun. I have a lot of random things and I definitely add and subtract from this bookshelf all the time. So if you're curious about the things I like to display on my bookshelf, just keep watching. Okay, so I've pulled back quite a bit so that you can actually see the entire bookshelf here. And there are basically these two rows that you cannot really see when watching the Little Art Talk videos. And the theme is basically putting all of the things that I don't want seen into these two rows. Um, I'm not really gonna go over them because not really relevant. Up here, just really quickly, is a lot of Chinese books that are my parents. Um, all along the top, their dictionaries, children books, and so on. Over here, there's a bunch of binders and notebooks. Along the bottom here, um, there is a bunch of textbooks magazines, a box which is actually from my senior studio. We had a final project where everyone contributed a interview and a piece of artwork to the box, which is how, oops, sorry about that, which is how I got a lot of these works like this one and this one. Um, and I have a couple more scattered throughout the room, which won't be in this video, I guess. There's some more sort of textbooks over here some manga, a bunch of spare postcards that I will switch out now and then, as well as this guy. If you watched my acrylic brand comparison video, you know what that is. It's basically where I painted the Little Art Talks logo onto a uh, piece of, what are those called? A canvas board. I painted each quadrant with a different brand of acrylic paint to show you how the brands differ basically. I'm thinking we'll go in a zigzag order so I'll start in this corner and then move my way down and across and back around. Alright, let's go. So along the top row is actually not art books at all. They're all of the other genres. A lot of fiction books but also some biographies and so on. Over here in this corner is actually a piece of artwork from a really dear professor of mine who um, I studied abroad with and his name is Robert Reed. If you're interested you can look him up. He was a really great professor and I miss him dearly. Here I have a postcard of Van Gogh. I'm not going to go over the books because they're just so many and kind of irrelevant, but if you're curious, I guess you can just pause and look it up yourself. Uh, again, same theme here, fiction books slash everything else, books in the back. Postcards, we have Alex Katz, Franz Mark, Theo van Doesburg, and Morris Lewis. Again, some more books in the back. Um, actually, this one I've talked about before. It's Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. Um, comic book, really cool. And this one is a Renoir postcard. A ceramic sculpture I made when in school. That was one of the assignments and that's how I glazed it and stuff like that. I really liked mixing glazes when I was doing it because all the glazes are kind of like very different chemically so the reactions you get when you mix them is pretty interesting. This one has some sort of crackly bubbly texture. I'll probably have a close-up so you could see a little better. A Duchamp dictionary book, which is pretty cute. I've talked about that as well. A lot of these books, um, especially the art books that I've talked about before, so I'll make a playlist of all of the book related videos I've already done so that I'm not repeating a lot of things. Here is some color aid paper and a Russian doll set, which is kitties, and that was a gift, and they're so adorable. Back there is just a pack of pencils from the Met Museum, um, which is in New York, and that was a gift as well. So right beneath that is this one, and you guys actually point this out quite a lot, and yes, these are Harry Potter books, and I have no idea where one and four, and I guess seven went. Um, I'm assuming someone borrowed them or whatnot. I think that's really funny. These are actually my sister's books, but yeah, I just keep them up there and you guys recognize them, which is really cute. Um, here is a color wheel, which I've done a video about how to use a color wheel before. 
um, a magnet of the De Young Museum, which is in San Francisco. Also a gift. This book is, it's like a pretty old book, but it's kind of cool. A Georgia O'Keeffe postcard, a Monet postcard. There's quite a lot of Monet postcards up at the moment, I think. I do switch them out pretty often, but um, yeah, I just, I do, I do like Monet, you'll see. And let me take this away. Kenneth Clark and the Nude. If you ever have to study like the Olympia by Manet, this is probably a reading you're going to have to do. Um, and this is a LACMA book. Back here is, um, this one is actually a box with soap inside. It was a Christmas gift from a friend and the box is pretty cute. So I was like, I'm gonna put it on display. Um, here is some origami paper in the back. It's a pretty big chunk, so it's pretty good for, holding things up as well. There is a baby downstairs, so she's going to make noise as she wants, but I really wanted to film this so I could get a video up, so I, I apologize if the sound isn't very good. Okay, so let's keep moving left, and uh, here we have various books, and this is the shorter row of the two, so over here is all of the shorter art books, and right below it will be all of the taller books, because that's a taller shelf. Postcard is Mondrian. Let's, let me move that for you. And then here are all the books. I don't know, maybe you could pause if you want to read the titles, but maybe I'll point out some of the favorites. Again, I've talked a lot about my favorites before, so I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description bar below. Here is Art in Theory. These are great um, books that are anthologies. It's basically a book of excerpts, so it contains a lot of the most important um, writing about art within that time period that it states. So this one, 1900 to 2000, this one's 1815 to 1900. So um, if you are studying that time period, you can get a lot of the required reading this way without having to find, you know, 10,000 different sources. Here is Daily Rituals, which I've talked about recently in the books to make more art video. Um, Joseph Albers Interaction of Color is a favorite, um, Seven Days in the Art World I've talked about before, um, and various things. You can pause if you want to sort of zoom in there, or if you can't read it very well, just ask me in the comment section below. And if you're curious about how I hold these things up, there is a candle right behind it, which is pretty funny. Um, I basically had these candles for years, and you know, in, in case of emergencies when there's no power and stuff like that. Um, I think I had it for like six years now and I have lit them I think twice. <laughs> but it's gained so much more function as a book proper upper. <laughs> okay let's keep going to the left to the left. Over here we have Google Cardboard which I've talked about before. This whole video is kind of like me going hey you know I've done this video you want to check it out but Whatever, I guess that's how this goes. I'll leave a link. <laughs> Here is a photograph from a classmate from the senior studio class I talked about. Here we have a uh, glass jar with some dried rose petals inside, and that is actually pretty special to me. Um, when I was studying abroad with actually Robert Reed, which is right up there, it was a month long fellowship, uh, basically June 1st to June 30th, or whatever day is the last day of June. My birthday is June 10th. So uh, basically a little over a week into this program was my birthday and I was celebrating it, you know, far away from home with a bunch of people I've never met before this day, except for like the teacher, I guess, um, the professor I've met once before very briefly. Um, but they gave me a bunch of roses because we were in France and there was so many beautiful rose bushes during the summer. It was great, um, smelled awesome. Um, and I dried them and saved them and I also gave them away. I keep that as sort of a sentimental thing. Um, you'll notice there's some other things that I saved from abroad as well. And I quite, I quite like that. I might make that a thing that I do like
gifted it to her. Um, back in the day, that was like the thing to do. That was like true friendship or something. <laughs> I didn't have any. But um, yeah, that's what that is. And in the corner back there is, here, let me get them out for you. Uh, English to French dictionary, which I studied French, which was a mistake because I suck at languages. Um, Italian, I studied Italian as well. In my school, you had to take five quarters of foreign language for the art history major. I took Italian for two quarters. I was really bad at it. I was like, forget it, I'm going to start over with another language, and I took French, and equally as bad, it was no better, and a guidebook to France for when I was studying abroad. This was, I think they made you buy this, or they gave this to us. <laughs> this is just a random bag. I don't know what's doing there. So that's it for this one. Let's move down. <laughs> You can see my reflection. So another artwork from a fellow student who um, was in my senior studio. There is a Monet postcard right next to a Monet book. Um, there's a lot of Monet, I warned you. Um, here is a little glass prism that I was actually going to use for a color video I had never made. Probably going to do that one day. Um, over here is a little glass thing. I don't know if you've guys seen these before, but you kind of find them in like those trinket shops or the, at least the Chinese ones you do. Basically, there's a tiny hole that they stick a little sort of metal rod into and they scratch or like inscribe inside the glass. So um, this one is a little rose stem, which is cute. It was a gift. Here is a jar of um, pebble, pebbles, pebbles, and these are in a little honey jar here. Um, this is from the first time I studied abroad in France. I studied abroad twice, by the way, and then I met Professor Reed from the first one, and then I went on the program with him the next year. But yeah, the first time um, we were studying, we spent a week in the French Riviera, and we stayed right next to the beach, and it was awesome, and here are some pebbles that I saved from there. These little jars are actually used to contain honey, but we ate them for breakfast every day, so we were like, a oh, perfect idea. My friends and I made the same jars together. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> Propping that up is just a little book stand, one of these just flat coppery thingies. Um, this one is from H&M, I believe. I quite like it. It's very slim and functional. Let's see, back here. This is a trophy, which is also a birthday present um, from that trip. Uh, it's basically two things glued together, and then they put like a little sticker for K, my name Karen, and a 13 for the year, which I think is kind of hilarious, but also kind of cute. Back here, I have hidden some light bulbs. <laughs> these aren't actually the light bulbs that I film with. I used to film with these a while ago, and it just wasn't bright enough, so I had to buy different ones. But yeah, I still have the box back there, because I don't know, I've never done anything with them. Mm, let's keep moving. Okay, so as I said before, this is the tall shelf, so all the taller books are here, and they're semi-organized in color, kind of, not really. Some favorites are probably um, Art Since 1900. This is a great textbook if you want to learn modern art. It's definitely very textbooky, so if you don't like that, you probably want to check out some more novel-y type of books like what are you looking at, which I've talked about before as well. One person did point out that I have an art history for dummies book, and yes it is, it's right here. Um, I'm not above being called a dummy, like sure, I don't mind. <laughs> if it teaches me something, it teaches me something. Um, it's definitely very, very brief, and um, it is a pretty good option if you want like a really general reading of a little bit of everything. I think it is geared towards more of a high school AP art history kind of uh, level. Here is a Renee Magritte, which I got when I was in Tokyo. I uh, talked about that before. <laughs> um, here is, uh, or I'll just do this first. There is some magnets of New York City, which was a gift as well. A lot of, I know I'm saying they're, they're gifts and they're gifts. All the magnets I've talked about 
as well as the pencils were a gift from the same person and she is um, really cool. Her name is Laura Corman, but if you want to check it out, she actually has a gallery herself, which is really exciting. Um, it is the Laura Corman Contemporary, I believe. Um, it's in the Bergamot Station, so if you're in the LA area or if you're visiting LA and you want to see a bunch of artwork, you can go to the Bergamot Station, which is in Santa Monica. It's basically a plot of land with a bunch of different galleries inside, so there's a bunch of different styles, a lot of very contemporary art, but also, you know, all sorts of styles in there. And uh, yeah, you could just make a day out of just visiting things. They have a really nice cafe there when you get hungry. And you can make it a stop to see right before you go to the Santa Monica Pier or anything like that. So pretty cool if you want to check it out. And I also have a little paper crane here, which I found while cleaning out my room. Very random, I know. Another Monet book. I just have a lot. <laughs> Actually, I have one over there too. This one is a Monet book too. And right back there is the Book of Symbols, which I've talked about before as well. Oh god. All right, last one that I'm going to go over today. I have another little bottle of pebbles here. Usually the two pebbles on either side hold up this little scarf I have, but it wasn't up when I was filming previously because I washed it and then I forgot to put it back up. But I'll show you what it looks like in a close-up. It's a little scarf. When I was visiting Hakone, when you buy tickets, they just give you it, I guess, um, which is pretty cute. And I quite like it. It has like the train, which I really love, the little boat that crosses the river, Mount Fuji, and the little tour gate, which is pretty cute. Here is actually a pretty cool book I like. Um, brown painting in Spain. If you like golden age Spanish painting, it's a pretty good one. I quite like it. A Monet postcard again, and this one is a art history, the basics book. And guess what? It's another candle. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and back there is a little jar. I actually put coins in it and a hammer that is really cute. This was actually a gift. This actually comes apart to have a screwdriver and a flathead, I believe, inside, which is really cute. And I like the print, but it does come off a little bit when you're actually hammering things, because I definitely tried using it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a gift from a really lovely lady. Um, so thank you very much, Grace, even though you probably don't watch these videos. So that's it to my bookshelf. Let me know what you guys think, if you enjoyed it or not, or if you like my stuff. I don't know. What do you say in these kind of videos? Or if you have a book suggestion for something that you think I might like, given the types of books you saw, plus you didn't see on my bookshelf, so I don't own it already. Um, it would be really cool to hear from you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps out this channel. I'll be back with another art video soon, and till then, I'll see you guys next time.